Welcome back everyone. iOS 14 just came out in a public beta form and I'm actually super happy about it. I came out much earlier than I thought it was going to be and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install it. I have not installed it on my iPhone 11 Pro yet but I might as well go ahead and do it and see how it runs so far. So in order to install it all you want to do is make your way over to the first link down in the description and it'll take you exactly to this specific website. Now you're going to have to go through and sign up for this specific beta through your own so once you're here, you want to understand that it's not going to be, you know, a super stable thing. It's going to have a lot of bugs, a lot of issues like that, but hopefully you'll be good by the end of it. So what you want to do is once you're on this website, you want to click sign up and it'll probably tell you to do your face ID authentication or to log into your account, whatever it is. Now, in this case, I just went ahead and did it. You can go and read through all this stuff. I'll go and click accept. And once you see this, it'll go ahead and tell you a couple more information, a little tidbits of knowledge you should know. You want to make sure you click iOS because you're using an iPhone, all this other stuff. It'll go ahead and say get started and this is what's important. You'll see a little blue enroll your iOS device thing right there. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and tap that. It'll take a second and once you're here you want to follow these specific steps. Now it's very important that you have a backup of your device. Now whether that's an iTunes backup, a Files backup, a Windows backup, whatever the case is, or a Google Photos backup, just back up as many things as you can from your device. That way just in case something happens and something's always going to happen, I'm going to let you guys know that right now. Just don't assume that nothing's going to happen. Something is probably going to happen. It happens to me all the time. I've already backed up my device. You want to go ahead and back it up so in case something happens, you'll have a backup to go to. And once you do that, you want to go ahead and install the profile. So what you want to do is you want to click download profile. It'll go ahead and have a little pop-up. You want to go ahead and click allow. And it'll say profile download. You can click close. And now what you want to do is you want to make your way over to the settings app, which is right here. And once you tap on it, you want to make your way over to general. You want to scroll down into profiles and device management, which is right here. And you'll see probably only this thing. Now I have a ton of different things here because I downloaded a bunch of tweaked apps and stuff. But at the very top one, you want to go ahead and tap that wherever it says iOS 14, yada, yada, yada. And you'll see right here the install button. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and tap the install button. You want to go and tap in your password. And once you do that, you can go and click all through here and click agree or next or whatever and click install. And it'll go ahead and tell you that your phone needs to be restarted. So you can go ahead and do that. And at this point, your phone will fully restart and you should be able to install the actual iOS 14 public beta, which is huge. Now, I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to disinstall it or uninstall it or just delete the profile if you don't want to either. And for some reason, my device always takes so long to restart. I never understood this. It's the most annoying thing ever. Okay, after 20 minutes of fiddling with it, it finally came through. And once it's fully done, you want to go and type in the password again. And once you do so, you want to make your way over to the settings app once more. You want to scroll down into general is right here you want to go to software update and most probably that ios 14 update should be there if you have an update that you need to update to you might have to do that first but most of the time it'll just go ahead and showcase that update that you just downloaded and as you can see we finally got the ios 14 public beta now it is public beta 2 they are matching their number the end number with basically what version of actual beta they're on and then from here you click download and install and that's pretty much the process there's not much more to it if you guys run into any other problems or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then